Well, look at this. We traveled like 30 freaking minutes to get here. Almost an hour. We got about an hour left of light to either find and pick and choose our campsite. I think we're going to use this one because we can put a hammock here and a hammock there. If not, we'll have to go out there and find a few. But it's a beautiful space. And we finally got a picnic table. But I'm going to show you this down here. This is what I want to really show you. Let's take a look. Beautiful view. It's nice and cool out here. Got this fresh water coming down. I got a small little waterfall. Well, I got two of them. So we're going to take a look. Look! Bear tracks! Look! Bear tracks! I really hope we don't meet the black bear cousins tonight. I want MREs to ourselves. See? I told you. Bear tracks. And lead to a bear. Hurt. So, I guess what they try to do here is slow down the river down a little bit. They might have had some turbines out here to get some electricity going. Dur, get that water, Dur, get that water. This has already been in it already. I get, I get to wash my balls tonight. <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look around. Show you this beautiful masterpiece now look they put a couple rocks in the middle to slow down the river i do need to find me a good skipping stone so remind me of this place there you go a perfect skipping stone for souvenir you're not supposed to take it any souvenirs it's just a rock dude it's just a rock calm down it's just just a rock and remember when you're walking around these parts Make sure you have dry feet and don't step on the wet bricks. Make sure you skip the wet ones and jump onto the ones that are dry and keep your feet dry. You should not slip on these rocks. So I just posted a little video on Facebook. It's going to say the same thing. But yet it's on YouTube and some YouTubers are not on my Facebook and some my Facebook people is not on YouTube. It's vice versa. So you get to see this twice. Maybe different words, I don't know. You should have seen dog. He wanted to run across and he was in a deep spot. He went bloop. Poor dog. Get it, dog. Get it. Get that water, dog. So you got like, I don't know if that's a big mound. Of, uh, yep, if you just keep your feet dry. And don't step on any of the green moss or wet stones. You should be all right walking through this area. But many of you step on a wet one. That's when you fly. Well, there you go. Nice little... Looks like a big dip area or deep area. Then it goes down and another little terrain. So all the water's running off the side. And not into... Not making a bunch of creeks. I bet you it took some time to build this stuff like this and uh, have a group of men to come out here to do this and slow down the river, keep them from digging into the into the ground. So there you go, folks. I hope you enjoy my videos. Uh, I'm ready to set up camp and show you what I had for my my hike. If daylight say uh, daylight gives me uh, any type of light before it's over with and here's a small little waterfall poor little waterfall there's no fishies to eat got a dragonfly well it's not a dragonfly it's some other bug and there we have it we found bear tracks we found 
We found a derg. Oh man, all kinds of stuff. And look, dog's digging for something. Get it, derg. What is it, derg? Get it. Oh, you son of a bitch. You gonna make a poop, poop pot? Poor derg. So they're saying here, here. I just, I gotta ask this dumb question. Okay. You eat food and you take a dump in the middle of the woods, but they want you to bury it so it won't contaminate anything. Okay, I, I get that. Yes, but your dog eats the same food you eat, but he can take a dump. Oh yeah, I forgot he buries it. Oh, uh, never mind. Case closed. It was just a thought in my head that uh, my, I forgot they buried it sometimes. <laughs> That was a crazy kooky question and I got my my souvenir stone I gotta put names on it never mind who came out here yeah I mean my friend used to go to places like this and we come to a camp and we're camp and uh, we go to different parks while we're camping this camp is unusual but I understand why uh, my friend the bear he told me what they do People come here and put a camp up and go a hundred miles away and canoe here or something and it takes three or four nights. It's uh, basically first serve, first come, come ah, damn it. First come, first serve basis. And then once you're here at night, it's understandable. At nightfall, you got to be here at your camp. Sometimes you can't do that. You have to, sometimes you travel thousands of miles and they go see a camp and time you get back it's midnight I've done that a bunch of times and that's the red trail this red trail is 10 miles and there it goes so me and bear has been thinking about taking it maybe next year halfway I don't know um, I like to have a loop trail but I don't know all right we and I know where we at. Okay, that's that's the ten mile trail right there. Goes forever. And I guess we are right here, and that's the two you see here. And up there is the other two. So I guess we're right here. But they got other campsites you can go to. That way and that way. And we found some bear tracks. All right, well, there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I'm ready to set up my camp. I'm trying to find trees. And here's all kinds of rules. What's on the other side? And there we go. There's the 10 mile trail. And there's break spots everywhere. And it goes through roads all over. And we just came off another trail that came like this. It was kind of odd, but that's where we ended up at. All right, I'm Ranger Kuki, and this is our first camp out at a official campsite, not in the middle of the woods or backpacking. I know my feet's killing me. How about you? I'm okay. A little sore when I first get out the truck. A little stiff. Yeah. You start walking, you know, it loosens up, but like the first couple of steps is like, ow. Yeah. After that, I'm fine. We should be all right tomorrow, but it's supposed to rain. 93%, but oh well. It's rain on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, not tomorrow, my bad. All right, well, I read your cookie. I'm going to set off a camp and hurry up and make a video for you so you see what I do or what I brought. All right, bye bye. Dog, go get that water. Go get the water, Derek. Oh, you, you know what you want me? Go get that water, Derek. Get that water, Derek! Dog got the water. <laughs> Get it, Derek! Uh oh, somebody's after you! A fish! Get it, Derek! Well, that's his water for the day. <laughs> Alright, where are we going on for a little walk? Bear got his lights. His only thing he don't got is first aid. Well, yes, for it. <laughs> Poor Dirk. Tell everybody what we doing again. 
going to watch. The phone yesterday said today would be a heat index of 102. So I'm making Ranger Kuki and the Ranger hike in 102 degrees today. But was... it is shady. We're going to the Caroline Dorman Trail. It's 10 and a half each way. And we'll probably do it. We're going to do five to six miles right now. But it said heat index of 102. It may not be that right now, but we're prepared. We have water, water filters, sunblock, and snacks. And a bear. And a bear. We got fire. We're, we're, we got a light. We don't need a poncho. It's 102. <laughs> All right, well, our march is that way. Come see real quick. And even though I showed you the videos earlier, I don't, no, I don't think the trail's on this thing. This is a refresher. This is where we at. We at this campground. Ah, hill. And they got this all backwards. I don't know how they got that backwards. All right, well, let's see what happens. I gave you a, a view in a few minutes. Take a little view of this camp. Our campsite's over there. We just put a hammock and me, one hammock and a sleeper bag, and he got a, I don't know what he had for his hammock. What's inside your hammock? Digital, but it's uh, it's called Eno Forest Camo. It's been discontinued, and you can probably find it on eBay, but they're going fast. I got an Eno Pro Fly and an Eno Guardian Bug Net, and Gore Tex Booby Cover and Inner Patrol Bag for the MSS Green one, which I didn't even use. I used it on my chest after three o'clock in the morning, literally covering me about this far, <laughs> and that's all I needed last night. But I did pull it over me. <laughs> MSS kept me warm. It's what summer? What kept you warm, Derg? This is the last week of summer, and we are enjoying summer camping. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Derg. Dog, what you slept with? On the road? He was on the ground staying cool. I, I was on the ground. <laughs> oh, Poor Derg. Well, day two. We at this park. We camping overnight, and this is a second overnighter. But I wanted to show you this bright, beautiful orange light we have. Of the sunset. It's the Alpacalypse. The Alpacalypse. Let's take a look at the bayou while it's nice and cold. Yes, the battery's ready to die. I need to hurry. Poor battery's gonna die. Look how pretty this place is. Orange. It's orange. There we go. He got bright over here. Well, all those warnings that tell you about flash floods, but well, we just had a little rain. All those little poor kids in the park go to die of flash floods. It just rained a little bit and this stopped. I got petrified. Poor petrified. We at the Long Leaf Vista. Vista. We're taking our last trip for this uh, season of holidays. I just want to show you the uh, view that they have out here. Look, I can just see Lacombe! And my battery is ready to go dead. I just want to show you real quick before the camera goes out. Oh, Mama Leslie! Okay, look, daylight, day use, looks like camp, bathrooms. And this is our last trip. And I'm not taking the camera with me. It's supposed to be only a mile hike. Ooh, it's higher. I'm scared of skid heights. Man, dark somewhere. This poor dark. Huh? And there you go. And this is Longleaf Vista camping area. It looks like it had water source too. <laughs> 